So as you see in the title, I tried out the Esco here, Texturizer, to review it for y'all. So I'm going to take you through the process with me step by step. So if your hair is naturally tough to comb through like mine, you may want to wash it before or make it a little wet or even wash it with conditioner and shampoo before you start so the process will be easier. What you see right now is the Escurl Texturizer. This is the cream that I use. It's from the brand Escurl and it basically texturizes your hair to another texture which should be softer and curlier. So as you see, we started by applying the texturizer to the edges of my hairline. And after that, you want to start combing the texturizer through and to the middle of your hair. So here we're still applying it to the edge. So as you see, we're combing it through the hair and after you're done combing it through or if it isn't reaching, you want to apply some more, even put some in the middle as you see as we're doing because it isn't reaching to the middle. So you just want to apply as much so it covers your entire hair and hairline. And you just want to be, have your like all of your hair covered in the texturizer and just keep combing it through. And I keep combing it and adding um, cream for about like 50 minutes because I already um, did this process once. But if this is the first time you're doing it or if your hair is really tough, you might want to keep it in for 20 or 25 minutes, depending on how tough and curly your hair already is. So when you're done applying the texturizer to all of your hair, you're gonna have your hair really soft. And then what you wanna do is go to the bathroom wherever you wash your hair. You wanna wash out the product with lukewarm water. And when all of the product is out of your hair, you wanna wash it with some shampoo or conditioner and they advise you to use the S curls, of course, but I don't really think it matters. Just make sure all of the product is out of your hair and then let your hair dry up for a few seconds. It doesn't have to be fully dry. But well, when it's dry enough, you can start applying the curl activator, activator spray, which will make your curls pop out more. As you see, we're just applying it through my hair after taking out the texturizer cream. This is the spray that I use. It's the S-Curl Curl Activator, but you can basically use whichever curl activator you have, and it should work. So after this, your hair should be curly and soft, and it should have a way different texture than what you started with. Are you listening? Damn. 